<laughs> Stubborn bastard! Hey! Hey! Hey, get back here! How the hell does he keep without that big sword? My training is different! I didn't read that right. Damn, we can't shake him. We have no choice. Time to counterattack. I guess you're finally taking me seriously. Good. I was getting sick of playing tag with you fools. He's not going to give up until he's dead. What a stubborn idiot. Does he really think he can beat two to one odds? Oh, I just smoked your ass not that long ago. So yes, I think I've already have. I've already have. I can fucking English. What? Every fight takes spirit. You lose that, you've lost everything. And I figured out exactly what kind of spirit you losers had when you took off with your tails between your legs. Silence, you gilder dog. We can handle you. You're in for a painful death. Yeah. Damn it, how can we get caught now? I didn't read that right. Okay, how about you just surrender and give me your full confessions? Starting with who the hell you are and what you are after. You needn't concern yourself about that. What? This guy. When did you get here? Commander! You came for us. You two are... pitiful. You failed to report in as appointed, and this is why. We have no excuses. We've had a lot of interference. Oh, I get it. So you're the man in charge. Ah, uh, only of this particular scene. Allow me to apologize on behalf of my men. Could I persuade you to overlook this incident? What? Okay, repeat that. I said that I'd like for you to overlook this incident. We never had any intention of running a laugh afoul of the Bracer Guild. Don't make me laugh. You think I'm just gonna let you get away and let you get... You think I'm just gonna look the other way and let you get away with what you've done? Ah, oh, well. I thought it a generous offer, personally. Certain a fairer price than death. Both of you, stand down. Return to the rendezvous point at once. Y yes, sir. Thank you, Commander. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You son of a bitch. Eh, fine. The target may have changed, but as long as I have one, and you being the leader, I assume you've got better information to offer me than these underlings. <laughs> do you think I'll be... What? Ha. Huh. Do you think it'll be that easy to make me talk? I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Not bad. Not bad at all. You have an irreparable passion, but a great weight bears down upon you. You are not quite so different from me. What did you just say? It's a painful thing to be powerless in a time of crisis, but you know that feeling all too well, no? I can see it in your eyes. Fine. I don't know who you are, but I like you. But I think I like you. There is no shame in powerlessness. There is no shame in being outmatched. Hush, birds. You and I both know that. Perhaps we could come to a mutual beneficial agreement. Oh, fuck you! Don't act like you know anything about me. You're in, you're the one version in for a hell of a beatdown. I can fucking English people. <laughs> yeah. Rah. I really I can't do a dispassionate rah. Ugh. Huh. 
All talk, no shock. Bet the guild's gonna love interrogating you. An after image? What? Is that a body split craft? <laughs> nice try. But you've got a heavy heart. And a heavy heart makes for a light blade. Why don't you come out of hiding and say that? When a warrior enters a skirmish, he must be prepared to lose everything. Otherwise, he can gain nothing. In order to live as a man, you must forego all anger and grief. With that, I bid you farewell. Forgo? How in the hell am I supposed to do that? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not screaming. That's just not gonna happen. I'm not, I'm not gonna scream. Chapter 3, The Black Orbment. So Agate has some dark past. Interesting. Hush, bird. Hush, Elvis. You have food and you have water. Now shush. If you want to flutter and fly about, your cage door is open. You just want to sit there and look pretty, is that it? Whatever. Well, I guess she's not here yet. Want to kill some time at the tavern? Nah, it's nice out, so I think I'll just wait here. I doubt I could ever get tired of the view of the river. No kidding. I even get the feeling that round's finally back to normal. Pretty amazing considering the uproar after Mayor Dalmore's arrest. Yeah, well a seated mayor has never been arrested before. Try to imagine if Mayor Klaus was arrested in Roland. Shh. Yeah, that would be a real shock. But when I think of it in that way, the people of Round seem almost cold. I mean, they were really, they were clearly surprised by what happened, but not a single person was truly shocked. We have to remember, the mayor of Round has always been selected by a bloodline alone. He wasn't elected to his position by the Roundians, and that probably makes all the difference in the world. That's true. The people of Roland appointed Klaus mayor because they liked him and trusted him. Dalmor is getting what he deserves, but I still feel kind of bad for him. I don't. Well, look who's here. Sieg! Scree! Estelle, Joshua, and there's Chloe. I made it. I'm sorry that I'm late. No problem, we just got here ourselves. Don't tell us you ran all the way here. You didn't need to rush. I couldn't let you two go without seeing you off. Thank you so much for contacting me. Chloe, I keep telling you, you don't have to thank us. You too, C. Thanks for coming. <laughs> ah, well, then I guess we'll be off. Okay. So we need to use the south exit to reach Zeiss, right? Yes. On the southern road is a checkpoint called Air Letton. You can get out of... You can set up for Zeiss from there. Yeah, we were there. Oh, and Chloe's gonna come with us. At the Aryan Crossway. Crossway, whatever. I wanna go to the mayor's estate. Just to see if there's anything screwy going on. What should I do about my pay? I, yeah, you got, you're asking the big questions there, buddy. I've gotten wrapped up in this mess. To think that Dario and I are going to have to leave and go find new jobs. Maybe I should become a guild. A guide. Who would have believed that the mayor would be arrested? What's to become of this estate? Probably to be sold off to the highest bidder. They're concerned about what they're going to do for work, and you know what? That's a valid issue. Oh, yeah, I forgot. 
I still have that, apparently. I probably, probably could have gone fishing at that point, but eh, doesn't really matter. But no, there was a pretty funny encounter at the Air Letting Checkpoint a couple episodes ago. Anyway, welcome back, one on all the trails in the sky. It took that long to get to the intro. Last time, we cleared Chapter 2 in... Mayor Dalmore was arrested for arson. The man burned down an orphanage. Or at least paid someone to do it. Let's move on. Oh, okay. That was not a lot of experience. Whatever. On to the Zeiss region. I mean, I've been here before, but this is still a nice little spot. The view is breathtaking. Surrey doesn't feel like a checkpoint. Actually, I hear that a lot of visitors come here to see the waterfall. Really? Round sure has a lot of nice places. I can understand why the Duke would want to live here. Agreed. But I think Roland is also a nice, relaxing place to live. You've been to Roland? Yes. I've been to all five cities of all five of the great cities. And that's right, Zeiss is just up ahead. You'd be surprised how charming it is. Really. Well, sounds like we're in for some fun. Alright, let's get started with the paperwork. Okay. Good afternoon. How may I be of assistance? We were wondering what had to be done in order to obtain permission to enter Zeiss. Step right up, I'll take care of you. Be aware, though, that once these procedures have begun, you will not be allowed to leave the checkpoint. Are you okay with that? Yes, that's just telling you, if you've got any other stuff you want to do, do it now. I've only come to see them all. Very well. You'll be able to accompany them as far as the tunnel. Lady, a tunnel? It's the main road that joins the checkpoint to Zeiss. The path is a long tunnel that passes directly through Caladia Hill. So an underground road. That would definitely be a first for me. Head upstairs. God, that's pretty. This is amazing. Hmm. So the waterfall comes from a man-made river. I think it's called the Leto the Lost the Lost Waterway. H before O is a little always weird, especially at the beginning of a word. I'm just gonna say the Lost Waterway. It was made a long time ago. Yes, and it's directly linked to the Valley of Lakeshore. Pretty impressive, given that they did it all without any orbments. And what's that over there? 
That's the entrance to the tunnel. Yeah. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah. So you're going to travel around the kingdom. We might be able to meet again in Gransel. Really? I'm going back there when the Queen's birthday celebration starts. Some of my relatives will be there, so I have to join them. That's just a month away. I think we'll actually be in Gransel around that time. Okay, then. Once you're done with your family stuff, contact the guild branch. If we, if you do, we can try to meet up. I certainly will. Estelle, Joshua, I can't thank you enough. I will ever forget everything that you've done for me. Come on, don't be so formal. We're in your debt as well for many reasons. I'd say we're pretty even. What a thing to say. When, when we confronted the mayor, I said some terrible things. You care for no one but yourself, but I was no different. I've been running away from the reality of my own situation for a while, to the orphanage and to the academy. But the two of you taught me something. You helped me to find the courage to hold my head high and find the strength to protect what matters. Because of you, I know how to be brave. I, I don't really get it, but if we are able to help you, I'm happy. Cheer up, okay? We'll see each other again in Grand Soul. Yes, absolutely. Maybe we'll get to see Sieg there, too. That was a joke. I mean, Grand Soul's pretty far away. I don't think those wings of yours would hold. Besides, your home is here. Three. Sieg isn't just any bird, you know. I think he'll be there. I'm sure. Sieg's full of surprises. Good luck to the both of you on your, your journey. And I'll be praying for you to find your father. Thank you. You two take care. That's kind of a nice moment. Yes, I think so too. We'll see them again. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Chloe. Miss Julia. You're done with your duties at the fortress. Yes, it took longer than I anticipated. Pardon my rudeness, but I've got to get your report on the incident. Thank you for your service. Settle down, see. Have you been fulfilling your duty as an escort? He's been very helpful. Isn't that right, see? He's certainly chipper. The RCL is stopped at the end of the highway. You are to report there. Understood. I'll be leaving school for a while. I need to say goodbye to my teachers before returning to Gransel. Estelle, Joshua. I'll take what you taught me and show you that I can be strong. Stronger than even you two. I'll do everything in my power to see that. What's wrong? Nothing. I just got the feeling that someone was coming. There's someone other than us in here? Guess not. I must have imagined it. Oh, I get it. I think you've still got a little crush on Chloe. What makes you say that? Oh, don't be shy. You know I can read you like a book. It's not... It, it, it's not unreasonable, after all. You did, um kiss her during the play? What if she asked you to come back? You'd say yes, right? I guess you didn't notice then. Notice what? The last scene? That was just for show, you know. It was staged. Just so it would look like a real kiss for the audience. What? You really are completely clueless sometimes. It was written right there in the script notes. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Note to self, do not insert foot in the mouth. <laughs> Why do I feel so relieved? Estelle, are you okay? I'm fine, totally fine. Come on, Zeiss awaits. Okay, that's cute. Anything? Okay, I can just go back if I want. There's likely stuff over here.
<laughs> Estelle. All right, we're good to go. I guess it's Estelle's turn to miss every fucking enemy before fighting. Treasure. Terra bomb. The chest is empty, like your thieving heart. We've already seen that one. Give me a new one. Curia bomb. The chest is empty, because you removed the contents, you looter. I think it would have been funny if it said loser. More terra bomb. Nope, still empty. <laughs> I love that. But that's just such a funny detail. Taking this smaller path leads to a dead end, which usually means treasure. Shag. Ah, okay. Death blow two. Reach, reduce the searching empty chest. That's really sad. I think we've already seen that one too. Still funny, it's just. Say we're getting some repeats of the chest text. Oh wow, this is this was not a very long road. Horrible charging station. A limestone cave, the Zeiss region. So we've still got some exploration to do. Still going. Nope. Beware of monsters. Okay, let's go take a look at this. Why not? Some more Terra Bomb. The chest is empty because you've already been here. <laughs> no map, so I'm just exploring a dungeon. Why not? The fucking hell is that? I'm not ready for this, apparently. Uh, I might come back here later. hits one of your party members like that's just crap that's irritating celestial bomb aha you again eh. some terra bomb Who this is? Good afternoon. Where's the fire? G -g Good afternoon. Um, are you taking this road too? Yeah. Have you seen any lights that aren't working? The lights along the tunnel wall, I mean. Um, sorry if there are, I haven't noticed any. All of the lights we passed were on, but we did pass one that was flickering. There's 
There's two rivers between it and here. That's it. It's just as I thought. Sorry, I have to hurry. I wonder if she's from Zeiss. Strange little kid. She seemed awfully flustered. Now I'm kind of worried. Want to follow her? You read my mind. I don't like the idea of a little girl wandering around here by herself. We should catch up to her. She... It's actually relevant in Cold Steel 4. Her I think her name was Tita. There are so many of them. It's going to break at this rate. Maybe this. Bearing set. Angle of elevation. 20 degrees. Orbital compression at 30%. If you come any closer, the next one won't miss. I, I, I mean it. They're mindless monsters. Oop, I think I might have made them angry. Ah! Huh? Hey, I remember you. We can talk later. Get back. We've got to get rid of these things. Oh, she's a party member? That's kind of ridiculous. scary. Thank you very much. I thought I was a goner. Well, the important thing is that you're safe. But you really should be more careful. Stirring up monsters is a surefire way to get yourself eaten. But... But if I'd left them alone, they would have broken the light. Speaking of which, why would these things go after the lights anyway? Don't they do the same thing when the highway lights are switched on? The septium in those circuits is the monster's favorite food. The highway lights work to keep monsters away. But when they stop working, they have the exact opposite effect. Ah, I get it. Still, you shouldn't mess with stuff like that. Septium might be their favorite food, but little girls are probably their second. I'm sorry. Easy. Giving your nightmares and saying don't do that isn't exactly going to score you any points. Oh, don't be such a wet blanket. Anyway, my name is Estelle, and I'm Joshua. We're bracers. Oh, that's why you're tough. I'm Tita. Yes, Tita Russell. I work as an apprentice at the Central Factory. That's impressive. Well then, Tita. We're heading to Zeiss. So, do you want to join us the rest of the way? That's right. You don't want to be around here when the monsters show up again. Really? Thank you. Do you mind waiting a little bit, though? I want to get that light fixed. Yeah, it's probably risky to leave it like that. How in the world did you know it was burned out? Well, I was lucky enough to notice the problem when I was looking in the, da in the database. It seemed like a defective unit was installed here by mistake. Ah, all right. It's a good thing you were caught in the. It's a good thing you caught it when you did. Computer database. Hmm. There, that should do it. Sorry it took so long. Color me impressed. Well, if she's an apprentice at the factory, she has to be good. I didn't do anything special. I just fixed the quartz connection and adjusted the pressure. Well, it sure sounds special. 
It's not a big deal. Now, um, how do I explain this? Each orbit has a coarse circuit inside, and it comes perfectly connected. The orbital energy inside the unit will have nowhere to go. As a result, the orbit won't be able to function properly. This happens sometimes when the highway with the highway lights, which means their ability to give out light and ward off monsters is compromised. So stop. <laughs> Maybe you should save the explanation for after we get you off the road. I mean, if we stayed around too long, the monsters, you know. Yeah, I guess so. I was just warming up, too. Woo. Well, why don't we set up precise then? Oh, that's cute. Up, oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's the wrong crap, because I'm an idiot. siblings both gained levels. Nothing new though. Okay. Yeah, I still don't think I'm ready to go into that. What? I don't even know what hit. I don't even know what that was. The idea of this little girl using a cannon is pretty funny to me. Does that mean this is the entrance to Zeiss? That's right. It leads to the basement of the factory. I'm excited to see it. The central factory is the pride and joy of Zeiss, since it's an industrial city. I've heard it was big, but they but that's really about all I know. Yeah, well, it's really huge. Anyone who's not used to it, the layout could get lost in a hurry. That's a creepy thought. I'm beginning to worry whether or not we'll be able to make it to the guild. The way to the city is just up the first floor. I'll show you how to get there. Thanks. Well, let's go in. But I think this is a good place to end this. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. As we make our way into Zeiss alongside our new companion, Tita. But until then, I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off. I really hope this recording works. <laughs>